Canadian communications company Rogers has agreed to sell Freedom Mobile to Quebec for an enterprise value of 2.85 billion Canadian dollars. This deal was reportedly set to address the concerns of the Canada Competition Bureau, which has been trying to block the Rogers Shaw merger deal permanently. All three parties announced a divestia agreement for the sale of Shaw's wireless business to Quebec on June 17, which is said to foster wireless competition by ensuring the presence of a fourth wireless carrier across the nation. This agreement could be making Rogers attempts to secure outstanding regulatory approval to complete Shaw's acquisition. So that said, let's take a closer look at the three parties who are involved in this scenario, beginning with Quebec Or. Quebec Or is a mid-cap telecommunications firm providing fixed line and mobile internet services. The Freedom Mobile transaction involves selling its wireless and internet customers, infrastructure, spectrum and retail operations to Quebec Or, thereby expanding the company's wireless footprints across the country. Quebec Or would also receive transport and roaming services from Shaw and Rogers under a long-term undertaking. The Montreal headquartered communications service firm recorded net profit growth of 0.1 million to 121.4 million Canadian dollars in quarter one of the 2022 financial year, compared to quarter one of the 2021 financial year. The script also rose by nearly 2% in the last week as of Friday. As per Refinitiv data, Quebecor's Relative Strength Index, or RSI, appears to be heading upward and was at 44.1 on June 17, supported by volume in green with 1.3 million shares exchanging hands. The second part of this puzzle is, of course, Rogers Communications. Rogers began deploying its 3,500 MHz spectrum from Nanamo, British Columbia, on June 15 and will continue to spread its 5G network coverage nationwide, including urban centres and rural areas. Rogers believes this launch expands its network capacity and will increase speed and deliver ultra-low latency. Rogers' stock dipped by nearly 8% in the past year. This telecom stock has fallen by about 27% from its 52-week high of 80 Canadian dollars and 85 cents achieved on April 20. As per Refinitiv findings, Rogers' RSI value was 27.71 on June 17, below the oversold mark of 30. And finally, Shaw Communications is also involved. Shaw added about 16,900 new wireless customers in quarter two of the 2022 financial year. The telecom company's postpaid net addition stood at about 8,600 for the second quarter, reflecting a year-over-year -year plunge due to heightened competition in the wireless market. Stocks of Shaw decreased by almost 10% year-to-date. According to data from Refinitiv, Shaw's RSI value also improved to 39.28 on June 17, with a trading volume of 3.15 million shares. So to sum it all up, some experts believe that Rogers and Shaw may be able to complete their merger deal without regulatory disapproval after selling Freedom Mobile to Quebec, which is believed to increase their wireless footprint. Resultantly, investors can explore these three TSX stocks as they are all likely to benefit from regulatory bodies approving the Freedom Mobile deal. What are your thoughts on the deal? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to share and like the video. For more content, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. I'm James, reporting for Calkine.